hello beauties welcome back to my channel i know it's been a long time but the good thing is i am here you are here you see me i see you all day yeah today's video is going to be about something i've observed and i think some of you have also observed it some of you may have experienced this we are going to talk about how tipping is becoming compulsory in ghana we all know that tipping is something we do to show gratitude but it's like right now we have gotten to a point that when you do not tip you look uncultured you look like a bad person without further ado let's get into the video so first of all what is tipping according to ethics tipping is the art of giving money to show appreciation for a service done to you beside your bill that is why some people call it living gratuity that means after you are done enjoying the service provided to you in addition to the bill you add something small to show appreciation that oh truly yes i enjoyed the bill when you are leaving the location that is why we call it leaving gratuity so it's based on the customer to decide if they want to tip or not because it's for appreciation show with this in mind one may ask what is the right amount to tip there is no right amount to tip anywhere there is just a guide to tipping and according to the guide for tipping for certain services your tip should range between 15 to 20 percent of your bill and for delivery is five percent uh, five to ten percent of your bill certain services are like going to a restaurant going to a saloon going to the barbering shop those are the certain services and for delivery service we know uh, for delivery service that one we know about it having a, a rider or a career service bring your product yeah so now that we have seen the guide and the definition for tipping so let's get to the topic on the ground which is should tipping be compulsory the reason why i'm asking this question is because it's like we've gotten to a point that right now in ghana businesses are adding tipping to bills tipping to delivery service so whether you want to tip or you do not want to tip you have no other option than to tip these businesses include your tipping to the bill they calculate the tipping for you the range and most of the times they use the higher percentage to calculate the tip so even if you didn't enjoy the service and you don't want to tip you are still tipping because it has been included in your bill already and to me i think it is different because you are taking the right of the customer to make that decision away from them and most of these customers when they come to eat they mostly check their total bill they do not go through the bill to look at the vats the taxes to even see that they are taping in addition to the bills that is being provided for them which i believe is unfair because as we've stated taping should be optional for the person to decide whether they enjoyed the service or they didn't enjoy the service so in that case the customer has no right to say that oh i didn't and i didn't enjoy the service so i am not tipping with delivery their own is a different case like you order for a product they will tell you oh delivery to tema is 30 cities in your mind it's 30 cities the day for delivery come and uh, the person will call you that oh your thing will be delivered but can you tip the rider 10 cities when he comes just tell me delivery from Accra to tema is 40 cities let me know that it's 40 cities i am paying but you make it seem as if i'm getting a discount or the delivery price is low then a the person come and you expect me to tip the person additionally to the delivery fee i'm paying like isn't ghana hot enough why are we now making it seem as if a person doesn't tip the person is a bad person maybe the person hasn't budgeted to tip maybe the person didn't really enjoy the service you will order food they will tell you oh delivery from accra to tema is uh, 15 cities then they'll be like um tip to the rider tip to the courier 20 cities like just tell me delivery from accra to tema for food 30 cities 35 cities 40 cities let me know that is the amount of money i am paying rather than making it seem as if uh delivery fee is less than the food and the tip is uh, an additional cost no the tip is a delivery expense just add it to the delivery fee let me know that the food and the delivery fee are equal prices like let's stop deceiving because in some way i think they are deceiving customers making it seem as if the delivery fee is not expensive while delivery is expensive because that tipping is a form of delivery fee 
why do i have to tip the rider in addition to paying delivery fee if i didn't enjoy his delivery because most of this uh career service i understand they are tired the sun is scorching but some of them when they call you the way they speak to you it won't even motivate you to tip them i feel like we are um, getting missing on this and kind of forcing people to tip because if you ask me to tip the delivery guy 20 cities and i don't have that 20 cities to tip you have left all of us in an awkward position because the delivery guy will come expecting me to tip him 20 cities i also do not have the 20 cities so what do we do like what do we do do i let him send the things back to you or what is supposed to happen i'm supposed to borrow this leads me to my next topic where hostess that is the waitress the waiters security men and delivery service riders couriers get angry with you when you do not tip i feel like businesses have put in their mind that they need to be tipped so they having it in their mind that they need to tip when they when you come when you enjoy the service and you don't tip them they get angry with you and sometimes you will tip them but some of them knowing the guide have already calculated the tip they expect from you according to your bill before your bill even gets you so when the bill gets to you and you don't tip them up to that amount they get angry they start frowning they start giving you attitude like it's not by force if i want to tip i will tip if i don't want to tip i won't tip if i want to tip you five cities out of enjoying a 50 cities meal that is what i can offer that is what i am giving that is 10 percent like it, it doesn't have to be compulsory you don't have to put a price down for the customer coming because most of us before we go to restaurant to go and eat i know some of you don't do that but me that's what i do i go to the website look at their prices and sometimes i calculate the small tip i will add to it so let's say i calculate my tip with the 15 percent i come to your restaurant and i eat and you calculate yours with 20 percent what are we supposed to do am i supposed to fight and get the additional five percent and add to it i am tipping but i don't have to go broke while tipping Ghana is already hot for us to be going broke trying to tip, trying to prove that we are a good person. Because when you go to such places and you don't tip, they start giving you attitude. They make you feel as if you are a bad person, which I think is manipulative. Because now the customer think they have to tip to the point where the hostess or the person, uh, the waiter, the waitress or the waiter providing the service have to smile. Like, I don't have that much money to tip. And some security guys by the road, if you don't tip them to that amount, they also frown. Especially bank security men. Like their own is a different case. Bank security men, aren't you being paid? You are being paid. If I go and withdraw money and I don't tip you, you get angry, you don't want to open the door for me. Like since when did this also start? It's like now everybody who enters the bank and comes out after withdrawing is supposed to tip left, right, center. Like, since when did we start doing that? If you don't tip next time when you come to the bank, it's like they mark you. Nobody is willing to smile at you. Nobody is willing to help you. But that's not how it's supposed to be. You are supposed to let the person enjoy the service to tip. And you see, when you go to such places and let's say you tip the person who provided you with the service and you don't tip the rest, it's also an issue like businesses need to tell their workers that they are not uh, entitled to tip let me use this word entitlement like it's like right now this ghana that we are people are entitled to other people's money you are not entitled to anybody's money if somebody gives to you they are giving it to you because they want to give it to you that is how it's supposed to be the money doesn't belong to you and I. It belongs to the person. So the person has to decide, oh, I have, I want to tip this person. If the person wants to tip all of us, fine. If the person tip one person and doesn't tip the other person, they get angry. You go to an issue, you eat, you tip your hostess. You don't tip the security man. He doesn't want to open the door for you. You tip the security man. You don't tip the other security man at the cab place. It's also an issue. So, like, are we supposed to tip everybody that is working there? This is my question. Because in some way, if you tip one person, you don't tip another person. It's an issue. If you don't tip at all, that one day you are the devil's incarnate. Like, they all start looking at you as if you are a bad person. You are ungrateful. I know tipping means you have manners. But also, if we are looking at it from the ethical point of view, some say it's unethical. But we are doing it because it's based on uh, being... Uh, 
based on courtesy we are all doing it so if i'm doing it out of courtesy to show gratitude then let me show the gratitude to the person i want to show the gratitude to because i can't be tipping everybody all around and this is why i think businesses including it into bills is unfair because when they include it into bill the tip doesn't really go to the person who provided you with the service that you want the tip to go to it's shared among all workers which i think is unfair because the waitress or the waiter who was smiling at me is not the same security man who was refusing to open the door for me so why should the tip be shared among them it should go to the person i want it to go to so one i believe businesses should stop adding tipping to bills they should orient their workers that they are not entitled to tipping and tipping is based on the customer's point of view their feelings and their wanting to show gratitude yes that is what i feel like it should be and in some way i kind of understand this hostel because after speaking to most of them i realized that most of them depend on these tips to make a living like why are businesses not paying these people well enough that they have to depend on tips to make a living like it's unfair these people are the ones who interact with customers day in and day out they can make or break their business because if i come to your place and your waitress and your waiters frown at me they are not nice to me i move to another business after all i can get the same food the same service at a different place you see so you are rather losing the customers so i feel like these uh, employees should be payable so that they don't have to depend on the customer for tips because right now we are at a point where if you don't tip you are a bad person if you tip and you don't tip enough you are a bad person if you tip one person and you don't tip the rest you are a bad person like in my opinion this is why i believe tipping should be optional we should allow the customer to decide whether they want to tip or whether they don't want to tip i know some of you may disagree with me you can state your reason in the comments below and if you have experienced such thing before somebody has given you attitude because you didn't tip them or uh, didn't provide you with the service or frowned at you or give you a bad service because you didn't tip them comment it down below let's talk about it and discuss do not forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel like this video and yes i have a lot more to come and i won't run away this time that'll be all for today my name is mushia adios